I heard the city needed me for some more Dragon Ball Z fights, so I'm finally here to deliver you guys the legendary battle between Majin Vegeta and Goku. But before we dive into this video, if you guys can smash the subscribe button right now so you don't miss any Dragon Ball Z content on this channel, that would be great. I mean, it's free to subscribe, so why not just do, do it? So the scene kicks off with Vegeta pulling out probably one of the hardest quotes of all time. You may have invaded my mind and my body, but there's one thing to say it always keeps. His like Vegeta had absolutely no business dropping that line right there. I know some of you gym heads can relate, blasting them headphones at max volume, listening to Vegeta dropping them inspirational one-liners while benching 350 pounds. This man was moving way too clean for being the fraud of all four Saiyans. Like his entire demeanor changed once he got the M on his head. I know he was feeling like he was Mario. You could even see the grin on his face. I already knew he was about to cook up a 5-star gourmet meal. So the fight begins and Vegeta rushes at Goku and throws a jab, but it's a miss and then another miss. And I really thought Goku was about to start moving like Muhammad Ali by the way he was dodging and blocking these attacks. But I must have forgot that Vegeta's stats went up by like 100 after that power up that he just got. Vegeta connects with a mean kick to the stomach, followed up by a clean left elbow sending Goku right to the ground. And hold on, let's replay this real quick. Take a look at Vegeta's face. This man is a whole tryhard. He was putting everything he had into that attack. Like maybe if you put this much energy into fighting Majin Buu, maybe you would have actually survived instead of getting eviscerated. But Vegeta said job's not finished because he leaps in for a karate kick but Goku escapes and then meets Vegeta in the air to where they don't get to wasting any time. Like this fight is only hands no talking. It was personal between the two monkeys. Vegeta winds up a whole kick but Goku manages to block it with one knee and look at how much energy they're igniting. Like I know the combined power levels of these two fighters are or at least like 50 million. Like if Nappa saw Goku and Vegeta fighting right now, he would be losing his mind. It's over 9,000. There's no way that could be right. Head ass. So then both of them grip onto each other's hands. And bro, this gotta be the most goofiest and most unorthodox fighting style I've ever seen. Cause tell me why they're out here exchanging kicks like they're in a game of Mortal Kombat. Vegeta headbutts Goku. And I know his head is ringing harder than a Nokia cell phone. Like look at his facial expressions. He did not know what just hit him. Bro got smacked so hard he turned into Krillin. Oh nah. This man Vegeta was on a mission. Cause he started landing haymakers on Goku's stomach and the crazy part is he was smiling while doing all of this like I know it felt good winning in a fight for once he hasn't got that feeling in a long time I know he was gassed and Goku wasn't tolerating any disrespect cause he hits him with a double knee into a powered up kick straight to Vegeta's cranium had that man flying straight into the rocks but Vegeta said he's not about to go out with a fight, so he gets out of the rubble and then powers back up. So Goku and Vegeta start throwing out all of the moves in their inventory like they're in a Pokemon battle. All types of kicks and punches using the entire battlefield at their disposal. And I was actually hyped seeing Vegeta hold his own for once. Goku and Vegeta both simultaneously give each other a knuckle sandwich, feeling the pain and agony of the blows that were just traded. Like dog, you can't actually convince me that this fight is not the equivalent of Goku versus Frieza on Namek cause this is straight heat. So Vegeta strikes with a few jabs on Goku's gut and then lands a 3 piece combo with no Bev included and I know that boy Goku was not expecting Vegeta to be fighting like he was the reincarnation of prime Conor McGregor. Goku obviously shakes those attacks off no Taylor Swift and then he throws a load of punches at Vegeta. But this man is really reading every attack like he does this on a daily basis. But we all know without Babidi's powers, he would have 10 broken bones with a case of spinal dysfunction and 2 broken arms right now. So Goku takes a little step back like he's James Harden and then he lands a vicious kick on Vegeta. Had that man gasping for air. Like you could tell his life was flashing before his eyes. That one definitely knocked some sense into him. And as soon as Goku was about to land the finishing blow, Vegeta suddenly teleports behind him and then fires a point blank key blast on Goku and sends him right into the mountain. And you know it's gonna be a bad day for Goku when Vegeta out of all people lands a key blast. Like him landing one of those has a success rate of 0.5%. It barely works bro. But to nobody's surprise, Goku absorbed that attack and this man was actually plotting the whole time. Cause bro launches a Kamehameha at Vegeta to where he starts leveling the blast out and comes very close to the middle. And bro, peep Vegeta's face. This man was really putting all of his energy into that attack. You could see his veins about to pop out of his head. So we get a huge explosion and the camera 
man pans upwards and all we see is Goku hanging off of the ledge like he's Black Widow. And I'm actually surprised how he was struggling. Like I don't know why he didn't just go Super Saiyan 3 when he had the ability to. Like this is literally all of Goku's fault. This man loves getting beat up for some reason. Like you're weird, weird buddy. Buddy? You're weird. Vegeta pulls out the greatest pump fake I've ever witnessed like he's Kobe Bryant because bro saves him from the edge of the cliff just to throw him to the other side. Had that man Goku hitting the snow angel pose. I'm actually weak. And this is where Vegeta takes full advantage of Goku cause he changed his body up and then proceeds to give him a backhand slap. Like nah, this is actually pure disrespect. If I was Goku and that happened, I would have just transformed into Super Saiyan 3 and ended Vegeta right then and there. I gotta spin the block after that one. At this point, you could call Goku Vegeta Jr. by the way he was making Goku his personal punching bag. Just straight up sunning Goku while this man was screaming in agony. Like how are you gonna let Vegeta do this to you? You're the main character of the show, you need to lock in. So Goku starts breaking out of the barrier and Vegeta was shook. Like he knew he was about to get his stuff rocked after how badly he just humiliated Goku. Like you're not about to get away with this one bro. Goku screams and then hits Vegeta with a powerful left hook into a strong right and then gives him a few punches and then knees him in the head, sending him flying straight into the mountain. Yeah, honestly, I'm not even surprised. This man Vegeta is like the Warriors when they were up 3-1. Like he always finds a way to blow the lead. Cause he could be completely dominating and then he just starts losing after like 5 minutes into the fight. It's like Toriyama has pure hatred for this man. He never wants to see him shine. So Goku dashes ahead like Rod Wave chasing after a double sized Oreo McFlurry with brownies and extra sprinkles added on the sides. But suddenly Goku gets met with a Houdini special because Vegeta appears out of thin air. Like I don't even know where this man just came from. But he puts Goku in a very questionable position and takes him into the air and he almost turned Goku into Raditz with a donut hole through his chest. But Goku was not having it cause he's like GET OFF ME! And then both of them send a Kamehameha at each other. But all it does is make this Looney Tunes ah explosion. So then both of them face off against each other and you could tell by Goku's pose that he was on the verge of transforming into Super Saiyan 3. Like he knew that this fight should have been over ages ago. It does not take that long to lay out Vegeta. But then we cut right to the action and Vegeta lands a mean left hook sending Goku flying backwards. And this man really said light work no reaction cause he counters with a clean haymaker and then they exchange exchange a bunch of attacks moving at the speed of light with these moves that I could barely keep up with. So Vegeta blocks Goku's kick and then misses a punch but then Goku recovers by making his way into the sky. And I know bro has to recollect his thoughts for a moment cause he was probably wondering where Vegeta got all this power from. Vegeta was playing no games cause he teleports behind Goku and almost catches him with a kick but Goku said he got that Sharingan cause he dodges it and then elbows Vegeta down onto the ground. Goku and Vegeta try landing a Kamehameha but their accuracies are on the same level as D'Angelo Russell trying to make a 3 pointer. Vegeta starts chasing Goku in the sky with a key blast but we all know that's a straight miss like little baby's newest album. And then Vegeta tries another blast only for it to get chopped in half by Goku's bare hands like it's fruit ninja. But here's where things get real interesting cause Vegeta starts throwing a couple more key blasts as a distraction because he suddenly appears behind Goku and his controller must have disconnected because tell me why bro is still standing still, like someone give him some new batteries. Vegeta lands a clean 200 pump on Goku and that attack caused severe damage because spit was coming out of his mouth and you could tell by his eyes that he was getting glimpses of Chatsu because he might be seeing him soon. And Vegeta was really trying to end this man's whole career cause he put him into a WWE suplex and slammed him right into the ground and Goku was on 10 HP. He was even struggling to get up. Like someone bring that man a medkit ASAP. So after Goku recovers, they have a little standoff and then they start having a competition of who can give each other the most amount of CTE, just bashing their heads together. I know their brain cells are cooked after being slammed like that. So basically, to end the fight, Vegeta rushes at Goku, but he tells him that Majin Buu is on the loose and that they have to work together to defeat him. But turns out this man Vegeta had whole different plans because you want to know what he decides to do? And while Goku's back is turned against Vegeta, he gets snuck with a double-handed blow and gets put right to sleep. 
Like you could already tell bro just got 10 new cases of CTE. Cause if you ask Goku to say a sentence, he's gonna be talking like Floyd Mayweather. Blue, apples, dinosaur, 64, 96, McDonald's, pterodactyl, ice cream. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, I gotta give props to Vegeta for defeating Goku. We do not see many Vegeta wins too often, so we gotta appreciate them when we get them. And might as well hit that subscribe button right now if you want more Dragon Ball content. I'm out.